Hmm. If you spend enough time on this trip, you will probably hear this at least once a day. But you know, that's not necessarily the case here. There's plenty of things for kids to do. And I say that because, well, I was one of those kids that my parents would bring to Vegas for vacation. So in this episode, I wanna show you some of the stuff that I enjoyed doing as a kid. And this is Vegas, so stuff pops up all the time. So I am here to show you all of it, the new and the old. All right, come on you crazy kids, let's get started. So first order of business. I can't do a Kids in Vegas video without showing off the Adventure Dome. This place was my absolute favorite as a kid. I would stay here all day and all night. The Adventure Dome is a five acre indoor amusement park located inside of the Circus Circus and it has about 25 rides and attractions. So when you buy your tickets, your price is depending on your height. It's kind of crazy because I see so many new rides and so many old rides. Like this one right here, I would live on this one. <laughs> And this roller coaster, I'm pretty sure it's been here since they opened this place. As a kid, we stayed at Circus Circus so many times, and to me, there really wasn't reason to stay anywhere else. But besides the Adventure Dome, they do have something else I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I am gonna mention a few different arcades here on this list, but I do wanna show off my favorite one out of them all, and that's gonna be the Midway at Circus Circus. I've been coming to this Midway since I was a little kid, and I just love this place, and especially all the games because they were carnival themed, so it gave us such old school vibes. Seriously, me and my family would be here for just hours, just playing all the machines, playing all the games, winning as much stuffed animals as you could. Like we really would just come out with like bags and bags of just so many stuffed animals. And they also do have free circus acts here in the middle of the Midway with such talented performers. I knew my parents really liked that part because it was free. Not even lying, I had a blast up here as a kid. Now if you're not going to be towards Circus Circus, then I'm going to show you two other arcades that are more central. And then the place that's going to be not so old school is the Big Apple Arcade here at the New York, New York Hotel. This one definitely has some more modern games in here. I actually see kids and adults of all ages playing all of these games. Like these games actually look really cool. And then the entrance to the New York, New York roller coaster is on the same level right inside of this arcade. I've never been on that roller coaster, nor will I ever. That thing looks scary as heck. Nope, I'm not doing it and you can't make me. And then this arcade does offer several packages that can include roller coaster tickets, credits, points, swag, and even food. So you can really stay in here all day. And then finally we have the arcade at the Excalibur Hotel, which is very similar to the one at the Circus Circus. And I do know that when you travel as a family, sometimes you do have to budget a bit. So I really like that these arcades are in very budget-friendly hotels. So now we're gonna talk about food because kids gotta eat, right? So of course there's plenty of restaurants that you can take the kids to, but these are just a few options that I think are worth mentioning. And this first one I'm gonna take you to is definitely a place that a kid would choose. So I wasn't able to get a kid for this part of the video, but I did get something better. I got Sandy. So we are located at Rainforest Cafe on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon, right next to the Planet Hollywood. Now if you guys haven't been here in a while, this used to be inside of the MGM Grand Hotel, but now it has moved over to this location. Thank you. Got my apple juice. <gasps> Thunderstorm. So as a kid, this place just fascinated me because not only is it a jungle restaurant, but it's also a store. They have moving animals, talking trees, and as you guys can see, some really cool lightning shows. Hey. So yes, I do have an apple juice because I ordered a kid's meal just for you guys. Oh my God, look at this kid's meal. It even comes like in a kid's plate, I love it. So I ended up asking for the strokes, which is basically like half popcorn chicken and then half chicken tidbits. And then I really wanted to show off like an adult meal, but this appetizer looks so good that I really think both adults and kids would like this. Artichoke time, cheers. Mmm. I haven't had an artichoke dip in a really long time. This is really good. I want to dip my chicken tender in some ranch here. Mmm. I like it. It's egg roll time and these suckers look super gooey. I really like them with a the ranch. I do too. Yeah. I'm really surprised how much I like it with a ranch. I like it. Really cool appetizer because now you can have a little bit of everything. Time to try my kids meal. Rawr. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely really crunchy. It's like a typical Chicken dinosaur. Got some little popcorn scrimps here. They're kind of like coconut shrimp a little bit. Yeah. I really do think pretty much any kid would like this, even uh, some adults. But if you don't want these shrimp kids, they got plenty of others to choose from. 
<laughs> We're not children, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a really fun place to come with the family. Just ignore that we filmed the entire thing here at the bar. Do you know how to count shoulders? That one, two, three, four. So besides Rainforest Cafe, Vegas does have a lot of great options when it comes to places to stay for families. Another place that I wanted to mention is gonna be Carmine's, which is located over at the Caesars Palace Hotel. What I think is very special about this place is that they specifically serve everything in family portions. Now these family portions are huge. The menu's gonna take and serve anywhere from two to three people. However though, when I went, to me the portions look like it could serve anywhere from four to five people. But yeah, some of the price tags may say 30 or $40 for the plate, but remember this does feed up to like maybe four people, so really you're getting a really good deal out of it. And then also in case you have seen my cheapest lunch video, I also talked about Ocean one. Now this is going to be over at Planet Hollywood and they do have lunch options for $5 and plenty of them. And not just lunch, even their breakfast is actually really cheap too. But if you kind of think about it, just watch any of my cheapest breakfast, cheapest lunch, or even cheapest steaks videos to have some budget friendly meals. And one last place I did want to mention is going to be Hash House Ogogo, which is going to be at the Link Hotel and they just have huge portions for all their plates. Like really you could have the kids to share one dish. So let's just say that your kids have been behaving like angels the whole trip and now you want to reward them with some treats. Sandy's been behaving, so I think I'm gonna reward her with a sugary treat. This is my favorite section of the entire store, the Jolly Rancher candles. That smells so, so good, just like a Jolly Rancher. Oh, I really just wanna bite her head off. Okay, Sandy. You can get whatever you want. Just one, though. No, I want five. Mmm. <laughs> that definitely tastes like your cat. <laughs> really sweet. You better not stop bouncing up and down the walls. No, mommy. But if you don't like Hershey's, we have Coca-Cola across the street. And M&M World. Sandy, you want some M&M's? Oh, I'm so sure it offered that cheesecake. <laughs> oh my god, from the moment that you walk inside, it is super humid in here. So next up, we're here at the Shark Reef Aquarium at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. This is gonna be pretty much all the way to the very back by the convention area in case you do get lost. The Shark Reef has about over 2,000 animals in the entire aquarium. They have everything from sharks, rays, green sea turtles, piranhas, Komodo dragons, and tons of fish. So that was the piranhas right there. Uh, they did say that they feed them at different times throughout the day. And then also I did ask if they eat humans. They said apparently they don't like humans, that we don't taste good to them, that they just want like a dead animal. But they'll still bite you. Is this mouth really open? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That snake really just yawned at me. Yeah, <laughs> So that's actually one of my favorite parts right here is where you can actually touch the stingrays and the horseshoe crabs as well. If you do want to get a little bit more interactive with the animals, the shark group does offer feedings for the stingrays, feedings for the sharks, and then feedings for the turtles as well. They are all different experiences, so you do have to make a reservation for each one. Plus the shark group does get really busy and majority of the days they do sell out, so I do recommend that you buy your tickets in advance. And then I just wanted to throw out a little bit of a fun fact right here because a lot of people will get this confused. So Shark Reef is the only aquarium that is on the strip. I know a lot of people think that it's over at the Mirage because the internet does give some conflicting information. But if you do go to the Mirage, all you're gonna find is a fish tank that is right behind the front desk, but that is it. However though, they do have something else that I'm gonna show you right now. So that's something else that the Mirage has is a secret garden and dolphin habitat. This is gonna be really more like a zoo because they have lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars, and dolphins. They have a total of 10 dolphins, seven females and three males. Every 30 minutes they do have training sessions, so kind of like little shows, but there's nowhere to sit, so you just have to stand around the pool. So out of those 10 dolphins, the youngest is two years old, and right now their oldest is 46 years old, which is way past what dolphins are expected to live. If you do want to interact with the dolphins, they do have meet and greets, and then they also have paint with the 
dolphins, which basically the dolphin has a brush in its mouth and then you are holding the canvas, so that from there you kind of paint together. Dang, these dolphins need to be in the Olympics. Look at them, they're all just chilling. So since we're talking about KISS, there's something very important I wanted to show you guys. I got a little present in the mail you guys just have to see. <sighs> Look how pretty these are. So not only is Caseify a phone case company, but they have this SheTech 2.0 technology that is drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet. You see, over time, kids were always asking me if I had any games on my phone. And to be honest, I always said no, just because I was so afraid that they were gonna drop my phone. It's okay, no cracks either. But with these new cases, that's not a problem anymore. And not only that, but Caseify has impact and ultra impact cases that are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials so they're compatible with 5G and wireless charging. Plus, they're 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. And they have this anti-mercurial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. And best of all, they have tons and tons of cases, all incredibly beautiful. Obviously, I chose the girliest cases I can find, but don't worry, they have plenty of options for men, and you can even customize your own cases. So if you do want to get your own, just go onto caseify.com slash Norma Heli to get 50% off your order. Look how pretty! So thank you to Caseify for being the sponsor of this video. But yes, now back to more kid stuff. Okay, so who likes superheroes? So we're here at the Avenger Station inside of the Treasure Island. So this is going to be on their second floor right next to CVS. So this is going to be like an interactive museum and then they also do have plenty of outfits that they use in the actual movie. This is kind of cool to be able to see what Hulk's hand really is like. It's really big. <laughs> What I really like is that even if you haven't seen the movies, all of the interactive guys really explain everything to detail. I got those guys, don't worry. Uh, uh. Ah, it's my husband. I mean, Thor. Please tell me you guys have seen WandaVision. That's kind of cool, they have all the Iron Man outfits. But I think I like this one the best. So even though this is a video for what kids can do in Vegas, I think this place is great for the whole family. So we're here at the Pinball Hall of Fame, which is in between the Mandalay Bay and the Las Vegas sign. And I don't know if you remember, but I did show this off in my $40 a day challenge video. I really do think this place is great because it's not just pinball machines. They have an array of a lot of different games, both new and old. So if you want to play here, machines do start at a quarter and up. So if you do stick to those quarter games, a few dollars will go a long way. And again, I do think that people of all ages will have a good time in here. So I think it's a great place to have fun together as a family. So I hope you guys recognize the inside of this because we are at Area 15. But if you don't recognize it, totally okay. But if you have been doing any research about things to do with kids, most likely this place has come up in a few sites or recommendations by some people. This complex sits over 15 acres of land and once you walk inside, to me it's like stepping into the year 3000. I think this place is perfect because it has so much to offer and for all ages. So if you're looking for things to do for kids that are for all ages, here's a few that I would recommend. Wing World is definitely a must. It's an attraction that has six different rooms with art installations, movement that goes along to the music, there's commentary, and it's really colorful and psychedelic inside. Then there's Museum Fiasco. This is going to be a large room with floor to ceiling mirrors, lots of lights, lots of strobe lights, kind of foggy in there, and it also goes along to music and different sounds, and it's great for pictures. Then we also have Omega Mart, which is actually one of my favorites. So from the outside, it has the facade of a grocery store, but you're supposed to keep exploring and find this hidden land through some secret passageways. And once you're in, it's a totally different world in there. It's definitely a place that you're going to spend a lot of time exploring. Now, if you do have bigger kids, I would probably recommend Haley's Common, which is kind of like a zipline 
Birdly where you get to fly like a bird and a VR experience. Virtualis, which is another virtual world that you get to explore through and do obstacles. And dueling axes for some fun axe throwing. And for my adults, there are a few different bars in here that you can just hang out in while the kids play. I did a full video about this place, so if you do want a little bit more of a detailed view about Area 15, go check out that video. So this attraction I want to bring you to is pretty brand new. They've only been open for a few months, but it's definitely a place to bring the kids. But when you're out here looking for it, really keep an eye out because it's a place that you'll most likely miss. So this place is called Flyover. It's right in between Ross and the Hard Rock Cafe right on the Strip. And I have gotten a few of you ask me to check it out, so I'm gonna do that just for you. So if you guys have been to California Adventure over in Disneyland, this is pretty much the exact same thing as Soren as it is the exact same creative director as Soren. So once you do get inside, you are gonna be sitting in pods and then each theater can fit up to 40 people to bring all your friends and family. And while you're in there, you're gonna be feeling wind, mist, and then smelling all the smells. So so it really feels like you're flying throughout all these locations. So we just took our picture right now and we're gonna go ahead and do the very first ride which this one is gonna be Iceland. All right, let's go! Oh my god that was so beautiful! First of all Iceland I had no idea how beautiful that place is. They had so much greenery, so much landscape. I don't know about you guys but I'm a city girl I've always have been so being on this ride specifically really made me appreciate it because you sometimes forget how beautiful the rest of the world can be. So when you come out of the ride, you're gonna come to the screen right here. You're gonna see all the cities and all the locations that were filled for the Iceland ride. Next up, we're gonna do the real Wild West. Okay, round two. So same thing with the Wild West, super beautiful, super amazing. It has a little bit of everything, a little bit of city, a little bit of nature, a little bit of Vegas too. But both are great, the real Wild West or Iceland, so whichever one you choose, you just can't go wrong. I was really happy that we did the real Wild West because it shows so many places that I had no idea were even in proximity to Las Vegas. Like, it makes me proud to live on this side of the earth. Hey look, it's me. If you do want to try a flyover for yourself, it is going to be $34 per person. They do offer both military and local discounts. You can definitely buy your tickets here on site or you could just buy it in advance on the website. However though, they do book up, so I do recommend to buy it in advance. So we're here at Climb Vegas, it's gonna be a rope course. I've never done this before. Now this is gonna be for older kids because you do have to be 48 inches or higher, so I barely made it. it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and get harnessed right now and then we're gonna go ahead and start going up. I feel safe already. Ooh, this is tight. All right, there you go, there you go. you're okay. all set. Are you afraid of heights? I don't think so. I guess we'll find out right now. I guess you will. <laughs> Stand up. We ready? This one's actually pretty tricky. Is it? And a lot of people don't realize it, but it moves. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so scared of this one. Oh my god, this one's so scary. <laughs> so let me have you. She did it better than me. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hard guys. This really tests out your balance. Yeah, definitely for big kids. <laughs> Made it. Time to go down now. I did it. <laughs> Thank you to Brandon for being my cameraman. <laughs> good time. Really good one. <laughs> and Allie, the instructor, was really good too. It was really fun. Which one was your favorite one? Oh my god, the zip line. The zip line was really cool. I felt like I kind of screwed it up the first time, but after a few times practicing, it was awesome. <laughs> wow, that was just so much fun. Definitely not for the faint of heart or if you are afraid of heights, but I mean, it's not even, it doesn't even go that bad. It's maybe like three stories that it goes, so definitely very doable. And you don't have to worry about anything because you do have somebody with you the entire time telling you how to do every obstacle course. But yeah, I liked it. Great for the whole family, kids or adults. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is gonna be right next to Rainforest Cafe on Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon on the second floor. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this list. And I know some of you might still be thinking that Vegas is not a place for kids. And you know what? Yes, you are right. There are some places that kids should not be exposed to. But you know what? I'm very thankful to my parents that they did decide to bring me here as a kid for all those years. We would come here once a year and if I got lucky, maybe twice a year and eventually we moved here. And I just became a person that loved Las Vegas and I don't get tired of it. Hence why I decided to create this channel and show you everything that I have fallen in love about Vegas. So if you guys like this episode, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment below. Tell me what else you like to do with your kids because I know there's so much to do here. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. That these three arcades are very... <laughs> Shush. I'm trying to get pretty here. No. <laughs> Only is it a jungle themed restaurant. It's also a store. They have moving animals, talking trees, the cutest. <laughs> Wait, you got the big one, I got the little one. <laughs> it feels terrible. It's like, this is a local place. Oh, Put it back in. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Remember, this does feed up to 40, 40 people. Four. <laughs> Sandy's been behaving, so I'm gonna give her some sugar. <laughs> that sounds weird. So let's just. <laughs> behaving like angels the whole trip, and now you want to retort. I <laughs> retort. What? <laughs> Reward. Say, so, uh. <laughs> Sandy. Children. <laughs> okay, Sandy. You can get whatever you want. No. Just, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, we skipped the line. <laughs> but if you don't like Hershey's, we have Coca-Cola right across the street. Ah, shit, right there. <laughs> this is gonna be a large room with floor to ceiling windows, windows, mirrors. Oh, hell no. Nope. I wasn't able to get a kid for this part of the video, but I got something even better. I got Sandy. 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 I think this doorway is the one that sprays you going in. No? Oh. <laughs>